Hey Sunny, this is a super summer got barbecue and today my throat is killing me. Yes, my throat is killing me, but not only is my throat killing me, we have PCC action about to start tomorrow. Yes, there were a couple of delays, so now we have PCC up. It's literally just gone live, people. So get yourself checking out the PCC rewards. Let's have a look at what they are, and it is possibly one of the longest feuds and longest rivalries in professional wrestling that's still going on today and it went all the way from the indie scene to nxt to wwe and it's we're probably going to get zane versus owens in wwe at payback and probably going on to like wrestlemania next year or something crazy like that these guys constantly go out wherever they are whatever the company or uh situation they're in they're always going at it and they're always kicking each other's ass so it is really, really awesome to see that Supercard have finally put these together. But what's more amazing is they're both taggable with some very important cards. Most importantly, Kevin Owens is a down arrow, which does tag of Andre the Giant. But it's important to look at the cards and how they are beneficial to each other. You hear what I, I can't move in a second. The first thing is, is that for me, this PCC is far too even. I mean, really far too even. Uh, and usually you would expect if there's going to be a tag at the beginning of the tier, which, which kind of, again, lends me to think that fusions are still coming and that it wasn't just a, a fluke. We just saw a random bug in the game that showed us a potential fusion chamber. But let's go into rewards. I have a look at all the cards there. I love the design of the cards, by the way. You're going to see in a second. And it does make the PCC cards more, for me, more valuable. And I'd love to see what the pro cards look like as well after this. But here we go. So let's bring up one. Here's Kevin Owens. The thing I love about this, okay, is the design itself is very, very crisp, very clean. It does kind of take away from the WrestleMania kind of image where it's more open. But I love the image of Kevin Owens. And the fact, look at the, 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 the writing as well changes all the time as well, which is awesome. And also your Sami Zayn over here as well. Now, the biggest thing about Sami Zayn, obviously, is he procs in speed and charisma, where uh, Owens and Andre both proc in power and toughness. Now, if you go to Owens, he's very similar to Andre in the fact that he's got pretty much the same stats, but he loses in power and toughness by quite a distance, but wins in speed and charisma. Whereas Sami Zayn kicks both their asses in speed and charisma, but literally gets pummeled in power and toughness. It's not even funny. So go down to, and there's a lot of changes in PCC, by the way. There are a lot of changes in PCC in terms of the ranking. You would have already seen one of them right now, which was the rank 1 to 5 is no more. Rank 1 to 10 for the first time in WWE Supercard history is now 1 to 10. And you now have The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler, which is your 1 to 10. And then go to 11 to 100. Awards have gone from 5th to 75th to 11th to 100 to get the support, which is going to be the off pumping. Uh, the big you do reference there. Or the trash can, the dumpster. Uh, and then you have for the enhancement, it's going to be 101 to 250. You've got two survivor cards. Both of these have been event survivors in survivor tier. So these are both people who have been collected before as rewards. So again, it's why it's quite so even. We go back down, go down, and it's still top 2, 150, which is good. There's no difference in the cards. I'm kind of disappointed at that. But the fact that the cards are there and the cards look as great as they look, it's just awesome. And if we go down even further... Uh, you can see that they're where it gets different. Now, this is where it gets interesting, okay? So, we go to Legendary, and Legendary is John Cena versus Sheamus. Now, Sheamus was a login reward, and it's very possible that people have got more chance getting the login reward bonus of Sheamus, which could turn it to Sheamus and Kevin Owens' side, but also, come on, guys, it's John Cena. John Cena always wins. Unless it's a Jericho PCC and then he doesn't. On down, go to the Epic cards. And the Epic cards are Bray versus Seth. Obviously, Seth's going to win that one. But I believe Bray has been a login bonus. So that potentially could swing tides as well. Uh, there's no real difference. And the Ultra Rare is going to be the Ultra Rare. Really, this, Yeah, the right back's been a login war beforehand. I think Stardust has as well So for the Ultra Rare. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Big, big changes for PCC. But I think the thing we need to do for now is actually compare the cards and actually see who's more likely to win out the others. And me personally, it's all going Kevin Owens' way. I mean, he's got Roman on his side. And Roman's 
as unpopular as he is, he's still popular amongst some of WWE fans. And, you know, going to be real, I actually like the guy. I think he's actually a really good performer. Uh, yes, he's slightly boring, but I would look more of that as WWE's booking. And Triple H isn't always known for having the best matches with people and bringing out the best in people. Uh, I know he's a true company guy, but you just got to look at Randy Orton and some of the main events he's had in the past. They're not always the best. Uh, just, just saying. I mean, obviously he has had some fantastic main events, like, such as John Cena, and then HBK and the guy will never mention because WWE don't want us to mention it. Sami Zayn, I would prefer because it's a speed and charisma, and it links to some of my left arrows. But Kevin Owens, for me, is going to walk away with this one. Um, not purely because it's the obviously underneath it is the Miz, who I think personally is a better card than Dolph Ziggler. I think actually he is a better card than Dolph Ziggler overall and overall stats. Um, the, the support doesn't really help, to be honest with you, um, because you know it's a support. Everyone's going to benefit from a support at this point. I think really it comes down to the fact that it's Roman versus Dean, and whilst they're the same stats in Survivor tier, Roman is better uh, overall with pro and when you're pro in the card. And also, uh, you've also got the legendary Sheamus. So for me, I am going to go along with Owens winning this. But what do you think? What do you think of the rewards? What do you think of the changes they've made? Are you happy with the changes they've made? Are you are disappointed? Do you think it's become too easy now? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And remember to let me know what you think of the pro design as well. You can see uh, just a hint there. When it gets to uh, in-game and you actually get to see it more uh, in depth, you'll be able to see it more. But I can see it here and I love the the flames in the background looks a lot better a lot more interesting than the survivor background for pcc this being the first pcc of wrestlemania uh my uh, lovely sasha banks is coming on very well my pcc team is getting there um so yeah basically i am all set for pcc tomorrow let me know what you're going for in the comment section below whether you're going for zayn whether you go for owens whether you're going for uh, Ziggler, whether you're going for the first top 10 in Supercard history, whether you're going to go for the first top 100 in Supercard history, do you think they're going to change the rankings so it kind of shows that way now, or do you think they're going to keep it the same, because maybe they've made a couple of changes to how the rankings show, but that's it from me thanks so much for watching, remember those five things I always ask you guys to do in every video, is to like this video and share it on with your friends subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and if you have awesome thank you so much for your support and remember to follow me on twitch follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys very very soon Zombie!